Wolfpack, what is going on? Welcome back to another video, and it's today's episode of the wonderful world of weird shit that players do. We're going to be expecting some quads and going over, uh, well, quads. It's going to be interesting, it's going to be in-depth, and hopefully it's going to be entertaining. Although we, we know damn well, it, well, it definitely will be. Uh, let's see what we got in the gulag. Unfortunately, there's already 12 people either not spawned in or dead. All right. Oh, he moved. Your boy actually walked out of the ghoulie. I'm actually confused. Like, highly. We might let him kill me. All right, sub to Rivera. All right. Can't really say I like the accuracy from it, but hey. Let's see if he lives up to the rose skin name. It was a point to time. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, there, my bad. There was once a point in time where rose skins would intimidate the likes of everyone on the map. When you saw a rose skin coming through, slide canceling through the door like that man was coked out on Adderall and everything else known to man, you, your, your balls shriveled up and you got scared. I know it. I was there too. But now... Tables of turn. Now, rose skins, man, they're the easiest to kill, it seems like. It's it's the craziest shit. Crazy, man. Um, I, Although, I, I will say, fuck rose skins. You're abusing the shitty-ass shadows of the game. But, it's isn't about rose skins. This is about Sub2 Rivera with his teammate, COVID. Look at the creativity in these clan tags. My God. Young clutch boy in here. Swaggy's levitating above the map. And here is Lath. Just looting and shooting, man. We've got no kills. He's got no intention of going towards the gunshots near us at all. My bad. My volume is down to like 20%. The wonder I couldn't hear shit. I love the fact that we legit have a scavenger. He could have grabbed... And he just said, nah, I'm good. I get loadout priority. I get that for sure. But you're next to the scab, homie. Just pick it up. We could all be Oprah Rich right now. Young Chris and Swaggy literally sitting on less than $600. We can get some UEs up and go hunting. But again, we I don't think these guys are wanting to hunt. Rivera is literally a level three threat. And he's pushing in. My sub two dudes out here. Try oh, never mind. He turned tail and ran away. He said, fuck that. Red threat. I'm out. No idea where purple got shot from. I see the ping, but I don't see the enemy. Oh, there they are on mini-map. Just kidding. Let's go ahead and play the situation real quick. I like that the teammates are trying to put some suppressive fire while we're going for the res. We do have an enemy falling on top of us as well as a helicopter. What? Yeah, um, for, for, okay, a lot of things right there. First off, I'm very surprised we didn't get splatted. He just stood there. Secondly, that aim... I'd like to think that the, that the kill cam was off in that, but... I don't think it was. I don't know what the hell the hell he even hit the target. I'm gonna be honest. But notice that right there. Let's just take a second to, to, to re regroup real quick. I'm pretty sure the whole squad's gone and we're spectating this team, and I hope so, because this team played that really well. We are. All right. So before we move on, we we'll discuss something. One, his tracking. He had a very hard time when he was in his scope. When he was ADS, he had a very hard time catching up to the helicopter. It's very rare you're going to be in a close quarter fight like that with a chopper, but it's very common that you will be in a close quarter fight with an enemy. Should there be a slide cancel on Joe Woe or a goat out there with 3KD plus, his movement will literally hinder your entire game. So he definitely needs to mess with his sensitivity settings and get that a little squared away. If your ADS looks like that and you just can't keep up with enemies, lower the sense. You don't have to go crazy. Go from one to a 0.8, play with that. If it's still not enough, lower it. But I play with a 0.8 low zoom and a 0.6 high zoom. Um, again, I've been tweaking these settings since I started playing Warzone. I literally have not found the perfect settings for me and I'm continuously tweaking them. And y'all should too. Don't ever get complacent on one. If you feel like you want to improve from where you're at, but you feel like your ceiling's maxed out, bump up that sensitivity, bump it down, do something with it, change it up, and help 
make your gameplay fluid. His tracking should have been a lot better than that. But let's go ahead and talk about the way this team fought. They did a great job. One, there were two enemies on the ground level that were distracting our entire squad in that entire fight. This, the third guy parachutes in behind us, the guy we were missing shots on, as a chopper was coming in to splat. So they basically attacked us from three different angles, from air, from behind, and from the low ground. The low ground strat was kind of risky, but it ended up working out because the rest of the teammates ended up doing what they did um, and essentially pinching our squad. Oh, um, we went from having the, the high ground to absolutely getting dolly up. But here we are moving on to Dr. D's, Mr. 420 Elite. Bama, roll tide, baby. Roll tide, baby. A uh, wicked, wickedly crazy. And uh, last but certainly not least, this seems to be the, the team carry right now. Jay Nasty, AKA Ward. As we sit here and pray to the loadout gods and hopefully we get the guns that we choose. There we are, bless up, baby. MP40 and the M13, all right. There are just certain people in this game that will stand by the M13 until the day the game takes it out. They just, they love that gun more than anything. It's a Beamer, but it's not, not my top choice. Definitely not a bad one, but not my top. Oh, wait, 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 he's rocking a Cooper and an M13? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm drunk. I'm too hyped up on pre-workout and sneak right now. No fucking way. Uh-uh. Well, I said team carry. I think I got a little carried away on that one, to be honest. That's, uh... That's interesting. All right, we're gonna be spectating some bullshit. Let me grab my sneak energy real quick so I can at least enjoy some of this. If you haven't tried sneak, guys, try a sample pack. You don't have to buy the tub. If you're like, Savage is full of shit, just buy a couple satchets, man. Satchets, satchels, whatever the hell they're called. Like three bucks a pop. Try the flavors out. Let me know what you think. Strawberry Millions, you will not be a letdown person. That's a fact. Uh, use code SAVAGE at checkout, guys. Link is in the description below. Also, it took me three years, but I finally got a link tree. So you guys can click one spot and see all my shit. So uh, make sure you click that too and investigate and have fun with it. And follow me on everything. Uh, am I doing this right, YouTube? Let me know. All right, step back. We're back. Your boy doesn't have any more kills, and yes, he is rocking the M13 Cooper Carbine loadout, which doesn't make any damn sense. But you're all aware of that. I don't think we need to teach these lessons anymore. In fact, I think the past week we've really le legitimately da -da 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 been discussing um basic loadouts, man. You have a sniper, get a sniper support, whether it's an AR and SMG, get something that rocks as a support. Never rock a double long range AR combo. I don't really understand the, the necessity for it. And the MP40 had wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't bad. You could definitely utilize the shit out of it. Now this is too long of range for this gun. The Cooper cannot beam and destroy people at this range. Weird! The savage, uh, this gun is- No, stop it, stop. Don't say anything, you're lying to yourself. This is a good gun. Cooper's a great gun. But it does have limitations of range. It definitely does. Bullet velocity drops to the fucking ground. It becomes an airsoft gun. And it, again, it kind of kicks, as you guys saw. But we see a lot of people still rocking. This is long, long range. That's that's many metas ago. Many metas ago. All right, let's investigate these other guys. Jay Nash, he's clearly doing one thing. Oh, we're getting beamed on. Now, look. Yeah, I'd commit to that. I like how he changed his angle of approach. I gotta say, shout out to the homie. Let's see what our teammates do. We need to play it up fast and start suppressing these guys before they push up. We're able to go ahead, jump off, and get a crack. Great job. Unfortunately, thermiting himself. And just like that. Oh, my. Okay. Savage, you talk a lot of shit. What would you have done? Well, I mean, look. When you're parachuting on top of a squad, it's always going to be risky, but I don't want to convince you guys not to do it. I, I full send all the fucking time. Um, but the way to do it, guys, is again, when we land on the roof, 
you can play it up if you want i probably wouldn't have because i would have anticipated the the roof jump also even if they didn't i'd want to suppress the enemy as my teammates are flying as well that way we don't end up in the same boat or that way our teammates don't end up in the same boat we were in um you just gotta again there are times where you're gonna have to play it up but there are exceptions to the rule and yes if you're not fully plated and you go to shoot the enemy the purpose of suppressing the enemy is not putting yourself in a dangerous position it's to put some uh, rounds down range hopefully hit the enemy maybe even kill him but don't commit to the death and what i mean by that is as your teammates are flying in you need to peek that with one plate suppress those motherfuckers and if they start shooting back you back off don't risk your life at in a, oh my god i love that shit yo oh oh shit yo where'd you come from I'm gonna be honest, didn't you know, have my headset on. He scared the fuck out of me. My heart just jumped out of my throat. Roll Todd, baby. He goes down. Moving on to Alpha Bravo in Bago. And two Anons. Hell yeah. There, there we go. There we go. Uh, not much. Not in a much better boat. Um. Okay. Okay. And also, guys, it is two o'clock in the afternoon. So that's the lobbies that we're getting right now. And again, I want to implore you guys, because people always say when we spectate, Savage, I wish I had these lobbies. Well, granted, solo lobbies, you're right. You will have those fucking lobbies, because that's just solos. Solos is very low KD tier, because most sweats are playing duos, trios, and quads for wagers and whatever reason. If you guys want this lobby, if you guys want Savage's lobby, yeah, we do. I'm going to tell you the secret right now. I'm going to tell you, tell you exactly how to get it. Not a VPN, nothing crazy, but it is a secret. Don't tell nobody. Queue up solo quad. That's, that's it. That sad is full of shit. No, I'm not. I'm telling you right now. Queue up solo quad. If you have a 1.5 KD and you're in a four man squad by yourself, right? Your solo quad, it's going to try to make the other squads around you. There are exceptions. It tries. Limited player base makes it a little bit more difficult now. But they'll try to match the squad's KDs to yours. So they'll try to put you in with SBMM of people, of squads of equal KDs, if that makes sense. So this is why we spectate a lot of bots. Now, when I'm playing with the homies and we're playing as a four stack, we usually get 1.5, 1.6 lobbies. We get lucky here and there and have some days where we get like a 1.2, 1.1. But these lobbies are not common when you're when you're full up with a, with a whole squad. So that's the secret. I don't think it's actually a secret, but a lot of people are always confused why we get these lobbies, and that's just how you do it right there. Go solo squad, go solo duo, go crazy, go ham. <clears throat> Getting shot from the right-hand side, instead of breaking away, going left or inside, um, he literally just keeps running straight and gets beamed. Enemies are wrapped around the right side of the building or inside, and we're still holding the left-hand corner, which is crazy because, again, they might wrap and shoot us in the fucking head. And here we are turning tail and running away. Now, this is vulnerable right now because they can see us running in the open. If you want to break away, you've got to you got to visualize the map. So if they're at these houses, you want to run this way and try to hold the low ground and use the ridge to your, to your advantage. Sitting out here in the open, just waving your titties in the air, live TTV sour. Your boy's got live and TTV in his tent tag. That, that man is serious. Um, You just can't do that shit. But thankfully we moved on because that oh maybe Fernando is still alive. Shit. Um, but that right there, just basic sense, guys. When you're getting shot at, when you need to break away, when you know their enemies a certain area, and you turn your back and run, most of the time it's a bad idea, but there are exceptions. As long as you're using the terrain as a tool to separate visual from the enemies and you, you can more than welcome. You're more than welcome to run away from the enemy and reposition. Look at this. Fernando. Oh, he's gonna blitz this kid down. He's got the MG. He's, oh, 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 Roskin, fuck your shit. Oh, I love it. Who was that? Baba Yaga. There's there's a million of them. Guys, come on, man. You gotta be more creative. But Savage, your name is Savage. Look, it's been like that for 20 years before people were even knew what Savage was, okay? Be more creative. We got a thousand Baba Yagas. All right, but here's the ultimate regain. Now, I love seeing ultimate regains. There's so many different ways to do it. Um, this is probably the best one. The odds of two scabs being on top of each other is pretty rare. So that's a blessing. We do have a big Bertha coming up behind us. And I'd want to go ahead and just kind of duck away and hide. Not reveal myself to this guy. Because if he is kind of full squad, we will get fucking wrecked. Luckily, that guy is oblivious. And he's going to go off to the ship. Station there. Check your map. 
Um, not really. Sh oh, it's a fire sale. Oh, I was like, where the fuck are you going, bro? Fire sale's a good, good job, man. That way we get our teammates back. Um, when we finish the scavs, all four of us get money and we can regain hard. Fire sale just blessed the shit out of us. This is this is a nice little occurrence. But right now, again, get the scabs. Let's get all our money back so we can get a loadout before people start pushing us. That's unfortunate. Again, it's a fire sale, guys. You got to anticipate enemies coming to you, which is why we said let's go ahead back to the scavenger as a squad. Get our shit. Get our loot out. Then we can have an even fight. Oh, this team's this team's running through them, bro. Slime just fucking them up. I don't even know if he has homies. He just bought them back, but he might be actually solo squad this entire team. And there's their regain, too. He bought back his homies. He threw loot out down. They're doing what we should have done. We do have money for a buy as well. We do have a balloon behind us. We could take the balloon to the buy, but again, remember this perch is there. But still, take the balloon over there, get your teammates back, and now you're sitting in a decent position. But fire sale's ending, and if we don't go now, we're fucked. And here's your boy sitting perfectly still. Killer just going to the left-hand side. Feet on the ground, no slide canceling, no jumping, no snaking, no drop shotting, no nothing. And he just, again, gets killed by slime. Slime out here just soloing the world. Rocket 10 kills. You love to see that. Oh, it's TTV Sour Boy. Enemy to your left, bro. I really thought we were about to see some crazy good gameplay. That was that was actually nuts. So let me ask you guys. What did he do wrong? How did he play that wrong right there? Oh, we have a buy next to us, homie. We could get your boy back. We could. Guy's in the middle of the street on the UAV. He's, he's literally in the middle of the street, bro. Purple better buy your boy back. Look at this. Dude, TTV Sour literally needs to be helping his boy out. And I understand he wants to get the high ground, but this is wasting too much fucking time. Now, Purple may die. We've got multiple teams around us. And still no one's bought back Slime, who seems to be the carry on the squad. Definitely the carry on the squad. Now, we've, again, we have the high ground, which is cute, but now we've lost Purple, who had bags on him bags and i know guys look they were in a fight it's dangerous there were enemies looking at the buy but dude all you had to do was run to it and just pop it off real quick while your teammates were suppressing you and they just threw this game right here now going back to slime he literally saw one enemy in tunnel vision he didn't see the enemies to his left he didn't see the enemies to his right he just saw that one guy took the fight out in the open no cover no concealment probably would have lost that fight because the enemy he was shooting at had boxes and fruit and shit in front of him um protecting him a little bit of, a little bit of cover and concealment we had nothing but even if we would win that fight again we had the rest of the squad just pelt the shit out of us he really ego sent that fight but here we are moving on to three kd bluncy well well let's see what he can do man so far as far as teamwork lacking greatly um i don't think these guys are trash by any stretch of the imagination despite my commentary um but dude that that's just that's simple decision making on the fly it needs to happen not to mention dude if, if your boy ttv wouldn't have been trying to climb up the hill he could have helped kill the guy again out in the open on the mini map um and maybe maybe they would have won that fight i don't think so but maybe they would have Y'all hear that? That's the sound of greatness going in the bottle right now. He bought sour back? Why? Again, no shots, but I feel like Slime was probably the better player. Well, look, I'll, I'm posting. The, I'm posting the KDs this video, so we'll, we'll look. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Still, though, not an unwinnable fight. We have a lot of enemies over here that are probably going to kill each other off. There are only... Well, that's that's all three of the teams, so we know where everyone's at. We have a cluster like that. Force them off of that shit. But look, you want to look as the cluster is pushing them off because they're going to be parachuting somewhere. 
and you can see them parachuting but instead we we blind ourselves we kind of hide granted getting them off that hill is definitely fucking crucial i like the play regardless oh here we go again oh no oh no Enemy to the left hand side. Yeah, you heard him. You see him. You see him. Oh my god. And you're left too. Yeah, you're just. Oh. He tried to go with the stem. It was a good attempt. Definitely was a good attempt. It was just a 1v2 right there. I I don't know how I could have played that different. By the time he heard the footsteps, it was just, they were just there. Sour, pick up that UAV. Throw that bitch up. Throw it up quick. Don't let the enemies get it. That's just me being selfish. So 1v5 right now. This is bad. I really think this team could have won. I really do. And he's got a great vantage point on us. We have to come out, but this guy's out in the open by himself on the rocks. Easy claps. Look to your to your right. To your right. On the, look at the mini-map, bro. 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 Maybe it's more difficult reading the mini-map than I than I think it is. I've been playing BRs for seven years, so maybe it's just I'm just used to it. Good beams. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Left side, bro. Left. You got to learn the terrain, homie. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm not laughing at him, son. That's just... That's that's an Activision thing, bro. That's an Activision thing. They Granted, you do need to learn the terrain, but it's kind of crazy that you just can't climb up rocks. It's gotten better, but it has, it has a long way to go. But shit. That's it for that squad. Now it's a 4v1. They, these guys can basically do whatever the fuck they want. MZ top shotta. Great, great shots. Killing it. Yeah, they can just do what they want, bro. Fuck that Claymore. And that's all she wrote. GG. But look, dude. We spectated some bot teams. We spectated some good teams as well. And one thing, again, what we always see in common is just... Lack of teamwork and decision making. Reason number 48 why I tell you guys to get aggressive and go after, after kills is so when you're in a fighting position, you're familiar with your surroundings. You're familiar with situations. Again, if you're crash walking in bushes and heart beating and playing super passive and you don't know how to fight, it's going to be very difficult for you to win games more consistently. You'll win games. Winning games in this game is not the most difficult thing in the world. Even the worst players can win games. But if you guys want to be more consistent at BRs, which I hope everyone does, whether you're playing for professional whether they're playing as a hobby whether they're playing for fun I, th I don't think anyone enjoys getting shit on or losing um so guys again get out there put yourself in positions to fight so when you do, you are in a position like your boy ttv was at the end the 1v3 you're able to play it a little bit better than how they were playing it um again the collapse over by the buy station was crucial not just for that team but for the team they killed as well both of those teams just instantly threw um just again same same mistakes no decision making, lack of decision making, lack of good decisions, but making bad decisions, making good decisions, it, it's all just based on the RNG of the game, the randomness of the game, whether one decision would be better than the other. But making a bad decision is better than making no decision at all. If you make no decision, you can't learn what you did wrong. So make a decision and go with your move. But guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe today. And don't forget to follow my Reaper channel as well as my Uncut channel and follow me over on Twitch. But guys, y'all have a good one. Good luck in Warzone.